admonition unto justice. Having prayed for the judiciary and we are still about to pray for them, I'd like you to look at this admonition unto justice. We just stepped out of a season of a most wonderful, amazing, unbelievable, awe-inspiring electoral season in the history of our nation. We probably have not had its type since the inception of our nation. There have been electoral tribunals set up and many are seeking for justice from the state assembly elections all the way to the presidential election. It is my humble prayer for our highly respected and respectable administrators of our justice system, our lordships, who sit in judgment to receive grace and help from God to do the right thing in this season. But being overwhelmed with the enormity and sensitivity of the task ahead and the possibility of pressure from different quarters to have their way, what will you do? It may be very challenging at a time like this, but what will you do? What can you do? One, whatever you can defend at the end of your life, before God, the judge of all judges, the Lord of all lords, do it. Two, whatever you will be proud of yourself for at the end of the day, do it. Three, whatever your children and family can be proud of you for at the end of the day, do it. Four, whatever you want your nation and your generation to remember you for, do it. Five, whatever will leave you with zero regrets at the end of your life's journey, do it. Six, whatever you will do again in 50 years time, if you were to live your life over, do it. Seven, whatever you will do, if neither fear, finance, nor favor is a consideration, do it. Eight, whatever will provoke for you the applause of both God and man, do it. Nine, whatever is in the spirit of justice, fairness, and good character, do it. 10. Whatever will not haunt your conscience for years to come, do it. 11. Whatever does not constitute the miscarriage of justice and the abortion of truth, do it. 12. Whatever will increase the confidence of the nation and the world in the impartiality and integrity of the Nigerian judiciary, do it. 13. Whatever will increase the respect, regard, dignity, and value of the Nigerian judiciary in the eyes of the nation and the world at large, do it. 14. Whatever does not lead to the vindication of evil and the vilification of good, do it. Whatever will not justify evil and crucify good, do it. 15. Whatever will constitute a positive and transformative reference and authority for generations to come. Do it. The following scriptures might be helpful in assisting positive action. First, James 4, 17. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Knowing the right thing to do and not doing it is sin. Second, Exodus 23, 2, God's word translation says, never follow a crowd in doing wrong when you testify in court. Don't side with the majority to pervert justice. The Bible in basic English says, don't be moved to do wrong by the general opinions or give the support of your words to a wrong decision. The meaning is, allow nothing to move you to pervert justice. Third scripture, Isaiah 5.20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. 
that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Meaning, it is simply a curse to call white black and black white. To infer directly or indirectly that wrong is right and right is wrong. We are called not to do anything extraordinary. We are called just to do the right thing. Just the right thing. The Lord help us all. Amen. Stand up on your feet. Look at your neighbor. Say just the right thing. Nothing beyond the right thing. Nothing extraordinary. Do just the right thing. Let's pray for the judiciary again and say, Father, Father we, pray we pray for the judiciary, for the judiciary of, our of our nation. We ask we are, that you release, you release upon them, upon them the, spirit the spirit of judgment, of judgment to deliver judgment. the right judgment the right in this season. O oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Father we, pray we pray for the judiciary, for the judiciary of our nation, of our nation. Nigeria. Nigeria. We ask we are, that you release, release upon them upon the, spirit the spirit of judgment. Of judgment. To deliver the right judgment in this season. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. The Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Pass it to any lordship you know, any learned, senior learned friend you know. The Bible said, The light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The word of God is powerful enough to defend itself. Let it go. And let it go. But we believe the right thing shall be done. At all levels. In the name of Jesus.